Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph, I'm here with Raku, and we are excited today because we are going to play Terraform Mars the Dice Game. It's going to be really fun to show you this upcoming game from Freaks Games and Stronghold Games, and it's a prototype, obviously, uh, out here with prototype components and everything. Things might change a little bit and so on until the final release, and I can't really say when that is either, I just know that it's in the future. So let's get going and start playing and we are playing a two player game obviously I will be the red player Drac will be the green player as we usually do. Uh, we are going to do sort of the same thing that we do in Terraform Mars. We are going to raise the oxygen, we're going to raise the temperature and we're going to put out oceans on Mars. In this game though we only need to reach two of these three parameters in order to trigger the end of the game. And when we do this, we are of course doing it with dice, since it's a dice game. And the dice are representing the different resources that you can see in Terraform Mars as well. So you have like titanium and steel and cities sort of. And it's interesting because all of these dice have the most common resource, have three spots. And then the sort of less common resource uh, will have two. And then the rare resource will have one. So here we can see the mega credits. Uh, there's some science over there, two of the science, but it's only one of the earth tags, which is the most rare one on the yellow die. And so we're trying to gather these resources in order to play cards, in order to raise the temperature, put out oceans, put out uh, forests or greeneries, and build cities and score points. But you don't need to see me all the time, so I remove myself and instead let's focus out here on the actual game. So to start off here, I have two corporations that I got randomly. I get to pick one of them to be during the game. Now these corporations are sort of thematically the same, or the names and so on are the same as in Terraforming Mars. But there's some other, you know, because the mechanics are different, there's some other like starting bonuses, discounts, and so on. So before I make my decision, I do need to look at my starting hand. And in since I'm going to be the first player, I will have three cards. Drac will have five to start off since he is the second player. If we were three players, then everyone in between would have four. All right, so let's start looking at my cards here. I have GHD producing bacteria that we do recognize from the Terraform Mars game. Uh, here though, it's a little bit different because the symbols in the top there is what it costs to play this card. So we need a science a resource, we need a microbe resource and an oxygen resource. When we have played this, we will get a new main action that we can do. We can spend a microbe in order to raise the temperature. And I also have a ecological zone, which is an event card since it has the red tag. It has a bunch of resource costs there, a lot of greens, three different green resources. And when I play this, I can uh, place this special tile next to a forest. And it's also worth three points there for the end of the game. And finally, I have the kelp farming. So this will get me an income since there's a, gr a brown background here on those dice. This will give me an income of two green dice every time I do a production turn, which you will see later on. So looking at these, I don't feel there is a strong theme here. Maybe the kelp farming would get me green dice, of course, that would help me build the ecological zone, I guess. But I think out of, so either I go for Inventrix, which gets me three dice of my choosing when I do the production. Again, the brown background there that we recognize. It also gets me a starting bonus of drawing two more cards. Or Interplanetary Cinematics will get me two of my choice and one gray but I would get a starting bonus of one steel and I would have a discount on event tags. So there are like event resources for the rest of the game. I would probably say tags a few times, but it's called uh, resources in this game. So I think I do want inventrix. It's nice to have that option uh, when I do production. So I'll take that. And by the way, there's of course a bunch of different, I think all of the classic ones are here. There's a bunch of different uh, corporations. And they have different themes, like Thorgate has some blue dice there because that gives uh, energy and so on. All right, so I've chosen my starting here. Now let's see what Draco will be choosing. He can choose between Echoline and Credit Core. And they are both straightforward, basically. Echoline, of course, giving uh, two green, two of your choosing. Credit Core gives two of your choosing, plus two yellow, which is more money focused. So. I think Draco would like to do the go the green path doing the echo line. 
But let's take a look at his cart before he decides. He has the giant ice asteroid, which costs a lot of resources here. But again, it's a you know good effect. You raise the temperature, you put out an ocean. He can destroy a green die for me. He has protected valley, puts out a greenery on a reserved for ocean. That's pretty good for... Oh, he has soil preparation as well. Another way to put out the forest. So yeah, I think he is going to go with echo line here and he also has two dice of his choice here so he can you know go into something else he doesn't only have to focus on on green of course depending on what cards he has and that he wants to play and that is the start here now i will also tell you that up here we have a market of cards so on my turn i can play one of these cards that i have in my hand or i can play any of these four that are in the market the four cards on top of this are the four bonus cards. Depending on the number of players, you will have a bunch of these bonus cards out there. And they are something you will be able to pick up when you get to a certain amount of points. So we both start on zero points over here, or VPs. And when I get to five, I will be able to pick one of these four. When I get to 12, I'll pick another one and same for Draco. So there's two each of, for, you know, to, for us to grab out there. And so that could also be something we take into consideration when we plan out the strategy because we know later on in the game we will be able to pick these up. Uh, like this uh, catching fire here, it's a, you know, this is an event card, so it's a one time. One time you get four red dice and you get to roll them right away and use them. All right, so I think I have chosen, I'm happy with this selection here and I'm going to start playing. So on my turn, I will do a few different things. First of all, I choose if I want to do a and you have like a player aid on the actual board here as well, which is nice. So I can do a production turn, which means that I would produce everything that has the you know brown background. I would produce that and gain that. Or I can do a action turn. And if I do an action turn, that is split into two as well. So the first step would be to do a support action. And I can choose from any of these four. And after I've done that, I will do a main action where I do one of these actions. Or I can do a second support action as my main action. Before I start playing though, I should also get my starting bonus. Come on, I should get two cards. So I will draw two cards. And I found geothermal power, which will get me some energy die, or a blue die at least. The blue die is energy or water or oxygen. And Deimos down. That's a good one here. I can destroy a green die for Drac, which I do think I want to do at some point, since he's kind of building up for green, right? All right, so my first turn will be a production turn since I don't have any resources, any dice in front of me. So when I do this, first of all, I will reset all of my used action cards. So if I had an action card like this one over here, all the cards that have an arrow, I would you know, tilt them when I use them and I can't use them again until I do a production turn, in which case I can reset them, which I will do now. Then I will draw one card to my hand and I found mining area. So this here is pretty cheap to play, gives me a special you know tile i can place out here and also two steel and a titanium that could be really useful later on then i will collect my dice when you collect your dice first of all if you had more than three dice you will discard down to maximum of three then i will look at all my production cards like all the brown backgrounds here and take that number of dice and i will roll them and see what i get to, you know resources so i get three of my choosing and then if i look at my hand here I think I need, I think I need both green and blue actually. So I think I will just start off by taking two green and one blue. I will roll them. And I got a microbe, a plant and an energy. All right. So that was my first turn, my production turn. Now it is Draco's turn. And if we take a look at Draco's hand, well, he needs a bunch of everything, but he needs a lot of red actually. So he's going to get, first of all, again, he doesn't have any action cards. He's going to draw a card and he gets uh, the uh, uh, lichen here, which uh, again, red and green. So he's going to get two greens because of uh, his Ecoline Corporation, but then his two optional ones, I think will be red. So he's taking two reds and he got an event, a uh, temperature and two microbes. Okay, we'll see how that goes later. He's done with his production turn. So now it's my turn and now I'm going to do the first action turn of the game. And you're going to get to see how that works where I first of all do, can do a support action. So I could take any die of my choosing here and just roll it for free. 
I could spend a die or a resource to flip another one of my dice into exactly what I want. So that's a way to manipulate the dice to get exactly what you need. I could spend a die in order to draw a card if I need more cards, or I could spend a card to get an exact resource. It's not a random, it's not a roll die, I get an exact resource that I want. Or I could also use the support action on one of my action cards. So if I had a blue card already with a support action on it, like for example, this commercial district over here, then I could have used that support action instead of using one of those standard support action. This would let me spend one mega credit to flip three dice into whatever I wanted them to be. So that's a good one. I might try to pick that up later on. But right now, I think I will just grab, because I'm trying to do the kelp farming, I think. So I'm gonna, just going to grab one blue, and I'm going to roll it. And I got another energy. It's not really what I wanted. So that was my support action. Now I get to do a main action. So the main actions could be to play a card, either from my hand or from the market row. It could be to spend three temperatures to raise the, uh, or three heat dice to raise the temperature ones. I could spend three uh, water dice to place an ocean. And I could spend four plant dice to put out a forest. I could spend three city dice to build a city. And I could spend three mega credits dice to get two points instantly. And this has a little green banner there, which means that's points I get instantly uh, in difference from, let's say here we have a red banner, which means this is end game points. Or I can spend my main action to do a second support action instead. And, and Sometimes you do need to do that because you might not have the resources that you need to actually do anything or play a card or to do an action, as is this case. So I think I am going to just do another support action, which will be to take another green die and I'm going to roll it. And that's another microbe. I'm not getting what I want here. All right. So that was my main action and my support action, but my main action was the second support action, if that makes sense. Now it is Draco's turn. He is going to do the same here. He is going to, let's see, he needs, so if he would go for, let's say he goes for Lava Flows here, then he would need, he has the event, he has the heat, he needs a nuclear, which is kind of hard to get. Again, that's the rare symbol on the red dice. So I think he's just gonna gamble. He is going to do his support action of taking a red dice. He's gonna roll it and he got another heat, which is fine. But that means he cannot do a main action as he would like, I guess. Well, he could do this one, actually. The lichen here takes... No, he needs a plant. He needs a plant, a microbe, and a heat. Okay, so he needs another green. And then I think his, his main action will be to do a second support action. He's going to take a green and roll it. And that's the you know, plant that he needed there. Now, if you, we run out of dice over here, which could happen... Then if you say take a green and there is no green here, you can take a die of your choosing. So, you know, that's actually pretty good for Draco to drain the green dice in that case as well. Back to me and my turn. And support action wise. Is there anything out here that would need energy? Well, I have a few cards that need it, but then I need other stuff as well. The corporate stronghold. But the corporate stronghold also needs steel and a city resource that could be tricky and i want production here early on so i think i will work on getting kelp farming out and then i need to so i have these two it's easier if you put them like this i have those two i just need two water so what i will do as my support action is i'm going to spend this green die in order to flip one of these into whatever i want and i'll flip it to one of the water sites so that was my support action but then as my main action I am going to do another support action. So I'm going to get another blue. I'm going to roll it. And this is mostly here. Oh, I got exactly what I needed. This is mostly here in the beginning. Once you start getting good production going, then you will do the actual main actions. So Draco's turn. He is looking for the nuclear thing. So his support action will be to spend one of his micro dice or resources into to turn this heat into a nuclear symbol and then he has all the three things he needs here to do his main action and play lava flows so he's spending these three and then he is going to get to raise the temperature once when you raise the temperature or when you place an ocean or when you raise oxygen you will also get points so he will get two 
three piece right away, so he's up to two. And then there's bonuses to be had, like the next one to raise the temperature will also get a um, temperature resource right away. So he's playing this, but he also gets to place this special tile. Now, uh, I don't have like everything, of course, in prototype mode here. And uh, we'll say these things here, they are, you know, that I added at 3D printed for Terraformer Mars and so on. So just one of these little things here will be placed as lava flows. And when you place something out on the map here, it's just like in Terraformer Mars, you get whatever bonus you are covering up. The bonuses are a bit different though, because like this symbol here, this icon means that you turn one of your dice into whatever you want it to be. Uh, you could get like a red, then you get a red and roll it right away. You can get more cards. And of course he can't place this lava flows on a water space. But I think Draco wants, yeah, he's gonna place over here. So he's going to get two gray dice because he needs some more. And he got a steel and a titanium, okay. So that was his turn. Now this is an event card. This will go over here in his stack of cards. And he is going to like, the, it doesn't have any points or anything like that but it's going to count the cost symbol because we have a board out here. So when you start the game, when you set up the game, you're going to take one of each die, randomly pick out three of them. And those three you will roll and find out what symbols are most uh, valuable in this game. So in this game, we have a watch out here. So who, at the end of the game, whoever has most of these steel symbol cost on the cards that they played, including event cards, will get six points and whoever is in second place will get three points and the same goes for the energy and for the plant so these cost symbols these resources are more interesting to us this game they might than they might be in another game so draco has played his lava flows and that will end his turn and it's back to me okay so i have everything i need here to play my kelp farming so that's gonna happen but before that i will do a support action so what am i looking for I think I have a bunch of cards that I'm not really sure that I will be playing, to be honest. Like, this one is good because I will get green dice, so that will fit well with that one. Like, Deimos down here takes, I don't know, it takes a lot of resources. And in the start of the game, i rather go for more production-wise. So my support action will be to discard this card. I have a discard pile up here. And then I get to take a resource of my choice. And then I need to start planning. So if I'm planning, if I'm planning for Ecological Zone... I would need an oxygen. That's pretty hard to get as well because again, this is the uh, just one on the blue side on the blue dice. So it's smart to take one of these rare resources when you get the chance to take whatever you want. So I'm taking that, saving it for the future. And then my main action will be to play kelp farming. So I'm paying two water, a plant, and a microbe. And I am playing this. And the way this works is this is just this is a production card. So I will just stack these over here. And again, they will, well, they give, give me more dice in production, but again, the symbols, uh, as in this case, this actually has a plant symbol. So I'm in the lead on this award now. I have played one card with the plant symbol, and Draco only played a card with uh, red dice there. So. so that's my turn. Now, Draco, support action. What are you doing, Draco? He doesn't really have much of good uh, production, but I guess this one would help him. So then he would need a red, right? Because he has these, so he needs a red. I think he will just do his support action, taking a red and he did, oh, he got an event tile. That's not what he wanted. He wanted heat. So his main action, I don't think Draco can do anything. I don't think he can play anything because he would need the protected valley he almost has what he needs for protect the valley, but he would also need a uh, He has to steal he has the plant, but he would also need some water So instead he will do a second Support action and he will take another red just hoping to get that No, oh, another uh, <laughs> Event he was hoping to just get that. Okay my turn support action. I Could go for I have these Mining area wouldn't be bad. That gives me a lot of dice. I could do a production as well. If I do a production, I will get three of my choosing and two green. And I will get to keep these because it's a, you just got down to three. So maybe that's better actually. And then I could get like a 
yellow. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do a production turn. So when you do a production, I don't have anything to reset any action cards, but I get to draw a card. And I found the medical lab, which um, is a support action. So that would be nice to play. And then I would have a support action of just getting one resource of my choice. Oh, that would be really good. But I would need yellow. I would need everything that I don't have, basically. <laughs> so that could be tricky. Maybe that could be a follow-up, though. If I do mining area first, I will get steel. And I need steel for this. So, yeah, that's the fun part of the game. Just like in Terraforming Mars, where you're, like, building a card or doing something that leads to give you the resources or leads to another action. That's what I love about these games. My dice gathering here. I have three of my choice. I'm going to go for two yellow... And I'm also going to take a red, and then I'm going to get two green from my kelp farming. So, as you can see, it goes quickly into building up a bunch of dice and getting a lot of options, which makes it fun. All right, so that was my production action. Now, let's go to Draco. He's not going to do a production action, because then he would lose half of his dice, really, because he has six. So instead, he wants, again, he wants to build, he's going to take a red again as his support action, and now he got what he needed. Okay, so now he's gonna play the lichen, he's going to pay the uh, plant, the microbe, and the heat, and then he will start generating more green dice in his production, which is nice for him over there. All right, so that was his turn. Back to me, and now my support action, I can play this. So that would be these two. I like to just put them in front of me to keep track. So that would be those two. Then if I want to do the medical lab, I would need more yellow. I get the steel from this, but I would need more yellow. I'll, I'm going to take a yellow die as my support action. And, oh, I got the rare one. I got the earth tag. I don't need it for that, but I need it for... Hmm. Yeah, it could be good to have later on. So main action, I will play my mining area. So I will pay these. I will get a special tile, which in this case will have to be just this little thing. And I can place it anywhere I want. And I could actually then place it. I could get a yellow. I do need more yellow. So or I could get two cards, but I have a bunch of cards that I want to use. So I'll place it right there. I get a yellow. And that's another earth tag. That's interesting. Then I get two steel, and when you get them like this, you get the exact, it's not a row. So you get the exact two steel and a titanium, and that was my card play. I'll just put it here. And again, this has a energy tag or energy cost resource on it, which is out here. So it's one step closer to winning that award for me at the end of the game. So that was my main turn, and now Draco. So he has some cards here, but they are fairly expensive in cost. Uh, like this one, the giant ice asteroid and so on. Is there anything out here he could pick up? Uh, the corporate stronghold. But again, he wants production, if possible. So he might be looking for more cards. I, know, I think Draco is going to... Ooh, I wish I had this one here, the acquired company, because I have those two earth dice resources that I would need. But I, yeah, that's Draco's card. I think Draco will aim to get Protected Valley out there. So in that case, he would need blue. So he's going to pick up a blue as his uh, support action. And he got an energy. It's not going to help. And he's going to pick up another blue. He might end up just doing giant ice asteroid at the end. There another energy. He's getting unlucky with the rolls. All right, my turn. I have a lot of resources. I could do... What could I do? Well, this ecological zone is getting closer. I would just need an animal resource. Problem is animal is the rare one on these green dice. So it's not that easy to get. But you know what? As my support action... I am going to give up, I'm going to give up this GG producing bacteria in order to get a uh, animal resource. Because then in my main action I can spend the oxygen, the animal, the microbe, and the plant. And I can build this one here. So I am going to get three points at the end of the game. I don't get them right away. But I get to place uh, the special tile next to a forest. Oh wait. There's no forest out. 
There's no forest out. Okay, so I can't play this. Okay, I didn't see that at first. There you go. Okay, so instead then I will have to wait a little bit on this, but I'm gonna sort of save up these dice. I'm gonna put them over here. So sort of save up. I know that I'm gonna use those dice for that. So instead I need to get a forest out then before that happens. That could happen. I mean, I don't obviously wouldn't see what Draco's cards are, but you know, I can just hope that Draco having a bunch of green, he might put out the forest before I do. So instead as my main action, I could do something else. I could do something else. I have a I have steel, I have a titanium. Towing a comet would be nice. But I don't have the right symbols. I'm feeling a bit stuck on symbols. I well, like on resources. Geothermal power would be nice to get some production. And I do have the mega credits and the heat. I just need just need some energy and energy is the easiest thing to get so as my main action I'm going to do a second support action to roll a blue die do blue dice yeah energy is the easiest one to get and I did get it so next turn I know what to do and I'll put them here so I remember all right Draco's turn so Draco is building up to something uh, a little bit unclear what he is building up to he might put up a city actually he could do a city because he has that so yeah his support action will be to give up one of the red dice to turn this titanium into a city which is the most rarest thing on the green or on the gray and then he will play this so you can play out from these as well so he's paying the cost here and that lets him put up a city right away now when you put out, out a city in this game you can place it anywhere except for next to another city and it's going to score two points plus one point for each greenery next to it. It's similar in a way to Terraforming Mars, but you get the points right away. So there's no green, there's no forest out here. I keep saying greenery is called forest in this game. Uh, but he is going to place this. He's going to place it over here where he can get a specific resource of his choice. And he's going to grab again one of these rare, I think it's smart, so he's going to grab one of these earth tag resources or earth. It doesn't, it's not a tag. It's a new game. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I keep using the same terms as in Terraforming Mars. You know, it's probably not that weird. So that was Draco's support action. And then he played his main action playing the card. Now we need to refill up here. So instead we will get the giant space mirrors. That's pretty nice, getting two blue dice as a production. Does have a lot of cost though. And no, I can't pull that off. Okay, so it's my turn. Support action, well I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play this as my main action. So what am I doing for my support action? I kind of want to look for more cards since if I find something I can use the earth tags for, that would be nice. So I think I will just give up a die. I'm gonna give up one of these steel in order to draw a card with my support action. And I found the aqua fire, which takes heat and water to put out an ocean. So that's not really what I was looking for. But then as my main action, I'm playing geothermal power here. So that will uh, build up on my production. So now I'm getting a blue die as well when I do production. And I might do that fairly soon, we'll see. I, I have all these dice over here and I'm kind of waiting for a forest to show up first like maybe that was not smart i don't know draco's turn support or is he going to do production now because he only has three dice and he doesn't really have what he need to do anything decent so yeah he is going to do production so he's going to reset there's nothing to reset none of us have picked up any action cards yet or play them so draco is going to draw a card and he found plantation another event card here with uh, put another one to put up a forest he has a bunch of them and that could be a lot of points. And you do want to rush on points because whoever gets first to five gets first pick on these bonus cards, right? That could be really nice. But then Draco would need some stuff that he doesn't have. But if he's planning for it, that's why you draw the card first, right? In the production, because then you know what you want to pick up. So, I mean, he could go for like yellow. He will get green. So he's getting three green in total. And he get two of his choice. He's going to take two yellow. That's going to be his dice pool. He's rolling it up and he did get... Ooh, now he got two. Oh, wow. He got two. 
Perfect. He can do acquired company now. Two earth resources. Okay, so that's going to be his plan, I think, for the next turn. But now let's go back to me because that was his production turn. My turn. I have what I need for this. Again, I'm in the same situation, basically. <laughs> Nothing happened in between turns here for me. So if I would go for medical lab, I would need... We need red. Yeah, I'll just pick up a red as my support action. And that's a heat. And then I will do a second support action as my main action. Taking a blue. And that's some oxygen. All right. So I'm building up. I'm going to wait a little bit and see what Draco will do. I hopefully he will put up a forest for me so I can play my ecological zone. And Draco doesn't, obviously doesn't know that I have this in my hand, right? So, you know, I'm playing with the cards open like this just because it's easier uh, for me to handle in the video. So, Draco's turn, support action. Well, he has basically everything. He has almost everything he needs for this. He has an animal, actually. I think he is going to, as a support action, he's going to give up this plant in order to turn this animal into a microbe. Then, as his main action, he's going to spend these to build soil preparation. I'm really happy about this because he's putting up the forest. That's perfect for me. He doesn't know it though. So he's going to put up a forest somewhere. The forest will score. Well, it's going to give you, it's going to increase oxygen. So that's two points, but then you get one point for each city next to it. By the way, when Draco plays this city here, I totally forgot he should have gotten two points. So Draco should be at four. There we go. Because he's done that and he also raised the temperature. Now he's going to place it right here where he will get a blue die that's another energy and also it will score one point because it's next to city and then he will raise oxygen by placing a forest which will score him two more points so he's up to seven to my zero <laughs> it doesn't look good for me so far but since draco passed the five here he gets to pick one of these bonus cards and there's a little bit of a difference here. There's a production card, there's an action, which is a free action as well, which is really cool. Or he could just go for something immediate, which is these event cards. But I think Draco likes this free action here. So he's going to take the efficient bonus card, which gets him a free action. But there's a yellow arrow like that. That's a free action that you can do even on your opponent's turn. You can do this at any time. And he's going to place it right over here. Here he can do it free action, but when he, he's using it, it's uh, tapped. So then he needs to do a production action to be able to use it again. And I think he's just going to use it right away because it says he can perform its support action. No, he doesn't need to. He's just going to save it. He did his turn. He built the forest by playing this event soil preparation card, and now it is my turn. And okay, I'm happy. I can finally play my ecological zone almost. Not because there's only one spot left here next the other ones are for water. So all right support action. What am I doing for my support action? I think I will pick up a blue. I'm hoping to get some um, water here. Come on. Oh, it's another oxygen, which is not bad, but main action. I will play this oxygen all of these green resources and I get to play this. So this is going to score me three points at the end of the game and I have to place the special tile next to a forest. And again, I don't really have that as prototypes. I'm just going to have one of these. Uh, upside down here and I'll place it over there I get a green die which was a microbe okay so that was good to get that one played and yeah I think it's time for Draco again so support action our Draco could do two if he wanted to he can use his free action as well he knows he's gonna play this acquired company his, his support action will be to take a yellow and that's another, we keep rolling those rare, okay. Yeah, he's going to use this as a free action to do a second support action. And he's just going to start modifying dice because I think he has to. So he's going to give up this that he just rolled in order to turn this. Oh no, that's actually stupid. Instead, he should just roll another yellow as a second support because the chance of getting a mega credit symbol is very high. So yeah, there you go. So then he actually has more dice in total, right? All right, so he has that. Now his main action, he's going to play Acquired Company. So he's going to pay these two. And that's going to start getting him yellow dice in his production as well. So that's nice. Uh, so you're building up your engine and, you know, all the classic stuff from Terraforming Mars. I get the same feeling, really. I will talk more about that 
when we're done with the game, I will go into more of a, a sort of uh, impressions uh, speech. All right, my turn again. And I do want to build this aqua fire. I want to build a medical lab as well. I have totally, I don't have the right dice for anything really. Giant space mirrors would be really nice. I have two of the four needed. So my support action will be to give up one of these. To... No, that's weird again. It's better I just do this as my support. I just take a blue, roll it, and I got water. Because the chance is good that I get the energy that I needed anyway, right? So then I would have more dice. Okay, send my well, my main action here. I'll just play this aqua fire then, because I have what I need there. So let's do that. And that lets me place a ocean. Because I do want to get some points as well, so I get one of these bonus cards. So ocean. I could get two green. I could get a specific one. I could get to turn to flip one of mine. No, I'm just going to go for two green. I'm just going to place it over here. To get two green dice. I got two microbes. And that will also, because I did one of the terraforming things, I will get two points. That wasn't bad. Draco's turn. He is looking for... He is looking for some... Well, he still needs another red here. So basically, uh, he doesn't have much at all for this. So he needs to start modifying dice or get more dice. That's basically the two options you have here. Or he can just look for other cards, I guess. I, I think he'll do that. He'll give up one of these yellow to draw a card. And that's greenhouses, which will uh, get you die on points. It's, mm, it's an, another event. We're seeing a lot of event cards here. I know there's you know, other cards in here, there's more production cards, but we're not getting them this play so far. So I think as his second, or as his main action, he's going to do a second support action. And he is just going to pick up a red. I just hope that he gets a, no, I got heat. Okay, oh well. My turn. I want to build medical lab. And I have a lot of dice, really, before I am ready to do another production. So I'm going to start modifying my dice, really. I'm going to... I'm going to give up one of these greens to turn one of these into a science resource. So then I have two of, that I, of those I need. And then as my main action, I'll do a second support action. I'm going to give up another green to turn this into a science. So yeah, there we go. Quick turn, Draco's turn. And he's actually going to do a production turn because he feels stuck here with all the resources that he have. It doesn't really help him out that much. And he will get six dice in production anyway. So he needs to, first of all, uh, reset his, un his used action card. So this will be reset. Then he is going to draw a card. And he found another, another event. World Government Plantation. Right? All event cards in his hand now, which is crazy. Then he is going to have to discard down to three. So he needs to decide on what is he aiming for, what, what, what is he going for. I think he wants like snow algae, which means, well, that doesn't fit with anything he has. I think he will like keep the little sort of rare ones. He will keep the earth tag. He is going to keep the heat. And then I think he will also keep, well, it's not rare, but he's going to keep one energy. So these three will go away. And then he will start assembling the dice that he gets in production. So he gets three green and one yellow and two of his choice, which I think will be more green. He's going to focus now on green, really try to get something done. So again, rolling the wrong symbols for what he needed, the yellow there. But okay, well, it might work out. We'll see. So that was his production turn. It is my turn. I'm building up to this medical lab, so my first support action here will be to uh, get a red. And I didn't get what I needed, so my main action will be to do a second support action, which will, means I will give up this green in order to turn this red into a nuclear. So on my next turn I can build medical lab, which will be so nice as a support action, I will just be able to get whatever I need there. All right, Draco's turn. Support action wise. So he can, he can build, he needs to plan this out. He can build this because he has what he needs for that. 
so that's fine. Then if he's going for plantation, well actually he wants snow algae. So that would take one of these, one of these, and then he needs a water. So he will, his support action will be to give up this plant in order to turn this into water. And then his main action will be to build snow algae out there. All right, so he's picking this up and that gives him production of a red dye as well there, which is nice. We need more production, both of us. And new card here is a production. It's extreme cold fungus. So this will get some more green dyes in there. That's nice. All right, so that was Draco's turn and he knows what to do on his next turn. My turn, I need to do support action first of all. And I think I don't have that many cards really. And I am about to play this. And if I look out there, there's nothing really that involves the oxygen. So I think what I'll do is, as my support action, I'm going to give up one of the oxygen to draw a card and get some more options. And then another event card, ice cap melting, placing an ocean and getting some water. Okay, as my main action, I will play medical lab. So let's do that. And so now I have this in play and as a support action, I can get a die of my choosing, which is gonna be sweet here. All right, Draco's turn, support action. Well, he can do his free action as well to get another support action if he wants to. He's going to play that, but he needs, he has an animal. That's not gonna help him much. He might do another production after this, but then he can, well, he can do two support actions. Yeah, I, th I think he's going to do um, his support action. He's going to roll the blue. And he got some energy. He's going to do a second support action for free. He's going to roll another blue and more energy. Not what he wanted. His main action is going to be to play World Government Plantation, though. And this is going to have him place a forest on an area without a bonus. It's going to give him minus one point as well at the end of the game. But. So where does he place this? An area without a bonus. Oh, he can't get next to the city though. So that was a bit of bad planning, I guess, because that would have been giving him an extra point, but I think he'll just place it down here and that will increase the oxygen, which will get him two points, but also it will get him a green die because he hit that bonus. So he's so rolling that and he got another microbe. All right, my turn. Now I'm sitting here with two dice and one card, so I am definitely going to do production. Uh, nothing to reset though. Sadly, I am not using this to the maximum, but okay. I'm gonna draw a card. I found nitrogen rich asteroid. Another event. I did shuffle these beforehand <laughs> since I played last time, but anyway. I just got down to three, I only have two dice, so that's fine. And I will get two green one blue and then three of my choice. And I need a lot of red for these, but I'm also looking out there for the extreme cold fungus. So I think I will take two green and one blue. So I'm gonna aim to, to do that before Draco can do it. I got three plants, another uh, oxygen, a microbe and an energy. It's not exactly what I needed. I needed a water for that one and another microbe, but okay. So that was my production, Draco's turn. He has a bunch of dice here. He's going to start, see if he can use them for something. So he could go, for example, for, I think he also wants extreme cold fungus. Or he could do one of his many, many event cards, like greenhouses, why not? So then he, he has the heat. So that's his support action. He's gonna take a gray. Oh, he got the city that he needed. That's lucky. All right. Then he's going to do second support as his main action. And he's going to turn. He's going to turn one of his. Yeah, so he's giving up an energy, turning this animal. He doesn't really have any use for animal out here. It's going to turn this into a plant so that he has everything he needs for greenhouses next turn. Back to me. And I need another microbe. I need water. I think I will give up one of the blue here to turn this into water. So I have some part of what I need over there. 
my main action will be to give up this green to turn this into a microbe. And now I have everything I need for a cream called fungus. All right. Draco's turn. He is probably going to plan for a production round soon. Which means he might go for, yeah, he's going to give up this. His support action will be to give up this to turn this one into a science. Then he's going to main action. He's building greenhouses. He's paying these. And he gets a mega credit die. And that's two points for the end of the game. He's putting that into his stack over there. And we could take a little... You know, it's end of his turn, but before I start my turn, we could do a little count here to see who's in the lead on the awards. So, Steel, Draco has one symbol. I have none. Energy, Draco has one, and I have two. And then Plants, Draco should have a bunch. He has one, two, three, four, five to my two. So, Draco is really in the lead on these here. It would be easy, though, to just get some Steel. I don't know. So my turn and I am know what I'm going to do is my main action. So what am I doing as my support action? I think I want more cards. So I'm going to give up this green to draw a card. And I found mining expedition, which will raise oxygen and get me two gray. Oh, two gray would be nice. All right. Main action. I'm going to get to go for extreme cold fungus. I'm paying these that adds to my production like that and then we refill with livestock which will get you some money and four points at the end of the game that's a lot of points so that was my main turn draco's turn he is going for production so resetting he's going to draw a card and that's natural preserve which is a special tile there placed next to no other tile it would be tricky to place and then he's assembling dice so he's getting a red now a yellow three green and then what he wants and i think he needs a bunch of yellow really for his card so he's gonna take two more yellow and let's see what he gets a lot of plants and let's group them together in three and if you have three mega credit you can spend them to get two points as well that's the main action let's do science okay so that was his production turn my turn again I think now I need to do production. So again, I haven't done. I haven't, why did I use this one? I forgot about it. I think I don't know. <laughs> I should have used it. All right. So I am going to reset. I'm going to draw a card, and that's a mine. So that's a production card. I do like that, but it's quite expensive. You need a nuclear resource as well. Then dice-wise, I'm getting three green, one blue, three of my choice. Well, I kind of need, I need red. I'm taking three red. So I have a bunch. Oh, and now I have three heat. So I can do the action of raising temperature, which would be nice right now because that would let me get a bonus there as well. We haven't really terraformed that much. All right. That was my production turn. Draco's turn. And now he's got a lot of options here. So like this plant, yeah, he's just going to start building whatever he can here. So plantation, mega credits, plant, and the science. Why not? And that is going to let him place a forest. So he's doing the terraforming, really. And we're going to have to start a second row of cards there, I think. So he is placing the forest. He wants to place it next to the city for sure. And he's actually going to place it up here. So first of all, he's getting one point from the placement and then two points from raising the oxygen. So he's up to 12, which means he can take another bonus card. Draco is really pulling ahead here. But also the bonus here gets him, lets him flip this icon, lets him flip one of his dice to whatever he wants. And he wants to play Natural Preserve next, which means he needs a Earth tag. So he's going to flip one of these into an Earth. And which bonus card is he taking? Well, he needs red, actually. So he's going to take this. So that's going to be four red dice right away, one time. And you just place it down there. And so he has four red. And that's a lot of heat and also some nuclear. Okay. 
Good turn for Draco, I think. Well, he could do his free action as well if he wanted to. I don't think he needs to right now. He will save it a little bit. My turn, I will do this as my support action now. So I can take whatever, get whatever I want. And what I would need here is to play Ice Cap Mel. I need one of these. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to. That was my uh, support action. So that was like I got an extra action. Instead of using any of these, I can do it from my card. I'm going to play or pay these three. And Ice Cap Melting here will give me a water. And it will let me place a ocean somewhere. I think I'll take two green over here. That's going to give me two points as well. No, not four. <laughs> I'm slowly moving up there. The green dice was an animal and a microbe. And not, again, not exactly what I wanted, but that's how it goes. All right, Draco's turn. He knows what he's going to do on his main action. Port action here. I think he's going to take a gray. Again, you do. we do want some steel as well, right? So yeah, there we go. He got steel. We want to play some cards that has steel cost. As his main action, though, he is playing natural preserves. Costing him those. And he will get a point at the end of the game, but he also gets to place the special tiles next to no other tile. And there's a bunch of good options out here. But I think he wants... I think he wants more grey, actually. He's placing it up here. He gets another grey, which was a city. Okay. So, my turn. Oh, he could use his free action, but he doesn't need to do that right now. My turn. I might go for livestock. It's so, so many points in there. So that's oxygen, that's a microbe, an animal. I would need mega credits and another oxygen. So I think my free action will be to take a yellow. And there's the mega credit that I needed. So now I just need another oxygen, which I can do with flipping these over and so on. And I think that's my main action, right? My main action is to do another support action, which will be to give up one of these microbes. To flip this into oxygen so I have everything I need next turn all right there's a lot of setting up for the next turn right Draco's turn and he he's going to raise temperature I think he's going to use these so as his support action he needs blue so he's going to take a blue roll it and he got exactly what he wanted the water for the protected valley so he has everything he needs for that now and he can do his free action, which, is there anything out here he wants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His free action will be to give up his plant, to flip this. Okay, no, 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 let's not do that. No, let's just take a yellow. I think when you're looking for one of the three most common ones, it's better to just take a die, roll it, and there we go. He did, actually got it, because that way you don't need to spend dice. So his main action, though, will be to spend three heat to raise temperature, which will get him two more points. And he will get a heat die back as a bonus from that. All right, my turn. I feel like Draco is really pulling ahead there. I need to get at least one more point so I get a, one of those bonus cards. Now, I don't have anything to choose from. It's those two that I will get because Draco was first to pick both of them, which was probably a bit bad play from my side there but anyway so i think i need to get i don't know what's going to come up there of course but i'm going to give up i'm free uh, support action i'm going to give up a uh, die to turn this into oxygen then as my main action i am playing the livestock so this is two oxygen a plant and a mic no a animal and a microbe and a mega credit and I will get two mega credit dice back as a bonus and then four points. That's going to be sweet at the end of the game. So that was my main action. Draco, he could go for just rushing the temperature if he wanted to. But he doesn't want to give up the nuclear. Oh, we should have a new card. Sorry. Keep forgetting this. Okay, Mangrove. Another way to place a forest next to an ocean this time. Is that something Draco could do? 
He has the plant, he has the temperature, he would just need some water. Yeah, he's going to take a blue as his uh, support action. That's some energy, and then he's going to use his free action to do another support action. He's going to give up this microbe to turn this into water so that it has everything he needs for that later on. But his main action now will be to play Protected Valley. So it says, place a greenery on an... Oh, here it calls greenery, actually. <laughs> place a greenery on an area reserved for ocean. Maybe it will be called greenery in the final game. I don't know. It says forest on most cards. So reserved for oceans. You can place it... Could get another blue, but he could get something of his choice. He's going to place it here and he will get exactly what he wants. Well, actually, then he doesn't get the point from the... No, no, no. He'll place it here because that gets him one point from being next to a city. He raise, raises oxygen. He gets two more points and he gets a green die. And that's another plant. Yeah, so that was pretty good for him. So he's really doing good on terraforming. And again, the game will end when two out of these three are met. And we have already have two oceans out. Yeah, we might not do temperature. We'll see. My turn. My turn. What am I aiming for? The mine wouldn't be bad. Start producing some steel and titanium, right? Or the uh, giant space mirror is out there. That is a good one. I would need a a lot of things to make that happen though but maybe i should just aim for it it's really good production so let's take a uh, blue that's my support action and i got the energy i needed all right my main action though will have to be another support action in which case i will take another gray hope to get titanium and i got steel all right draco's turn he only has this in hand now and he's not really close to building it. He's going to build the mangrove out there. So he's paying these. No, he needs to use support action first. So what would that be? Well, he could. Oh, he could actually build commercial district as well. So his support action could be. If he builds these, he's getting pretty close to maybe doing a production actually. That gets him more dice and he gets to refresh his uh, bonus card. So in that case, it kind of makes sense for him actually to get rid of this. So yeah, he's going to give up this plant as a support action to turn this into an event. So he has more events to use. Then as his main action, he is going to play mangrove with these dice here. And that will let him place a um, forest or greenery uh, next to an ocean. In this game, you don't get money or anything for placing next to ocean, though. But I think considering he is planning to... Yeah, yeah, he's going to place it right... Right here. Because that would get him a point for being next to a city. And he gets... Okay, this... A bit pretty, yeah, that was a green. He gets a green die. That's a plant. And now also he will raise oxygen, which will get him two more points. And he will get two temperature dice from that. Or two heat dice. As a bonus. So that was a good turn. He's really, you know, doing the terraforming. I need to start doing that. My turn. And... Well, we should refill. I keep forgetting this. This is for all games that has a market row. For some reason, I have such a hard time remembering to refill. That's advanced ecosystems. Get your card in two points. And I'm going for the giant space mirror. I'm, I'm sort of playing a more of a long game and Drac was rushing stuff. But I can see that Draco has what he needs for commercial district. Maybe I should just try to take that away from him. I think I will. So I will give up one of my mega credit dice to turn the steel into a city and then I will use the city and the mega credits in order to build a commercial district before Draco can. I need to start battling Draco. So now I have a support action to spend mega credit to turn three dice into exactly what I want which could be really helpful. And all right and this is starting to take up a lot of table space so I hope you can see everything okay. All uh, right, that was my turn. Draco's turn. He's a little bit bummed about that. I took what he wanted. 
but he could we should refill we should refill and that's farming that's pretty good so that's the point and of course a green dye in production how close is Draco to that he just needs a water so yeah he's gonna take a blue as his uh, free support action and just gamble and he got the energy okay Draco is going to, as his main action, he's going to do a second support action. He's going to give up the... Oh, I can't give that up. He's going to give up the science to turn this into water. So then he has what he needs for farming next turn. All right. Back to me. Support action. Now I could do this if I had... Then I need a mega credit, of course. And I don't have any yellow dye production, but I can get yellow from Inventrix, of course. I could do nitrogen rich asteroid almost. So we just need some red and so on. I think I'll take a red then as my support. And that was heat. So my main, I take another red. And that's what I needed there. Okay. Draco's turn. He is going to. Spend all of these to build farming. That's the point as well. And Draco really has a lot of green dye production now, which is nice. So, you know, there's a lot of cars out here that do need it. And he can always build forests as well if he has four plant, plant resources. So he spent those. Oh, so Draco didn't do a support action actually. So, what would he have done? I mean, he wanted to play that, and we should refill up here. Well, I guess you shouldn't see this before he's doing his support action. But I think he would have just taken uh, steps towards this giant ice asteroid. So what he would have done is he would have taken another gray. And that would have been a titanium, which is actually what he needs. So he's getting somewhat close. Just needs some blue here. All right. So that was Draco's turn. Now, we did get these Teutonic stress power up there. So that would be a nice production card. On my turn, I am going to play Nitrogen Rich Asteroid. But my support action before that, what would I need out here? I have some heat. I think I will just take another red and just see if I can terraform a little bit. Oh, there we go. So I got a third heat, which is nice. Then I'm doing Nitrogen Rich Asteroid. So I'm paying these here. And I get a plant back and I also get to raise temperature once I'm gonna start a second uh, row there and that's gonna go up to minus 21 and I get to two points and now I get to pick one of these and I'm gonna go for I think I am gonna go for this eBay well actually production is more important now and this is Jacob Frixelius himself <laughs> on the card I'm gonna take this bonus card so I will start producing some yellow dice as well which is not a bad idea all right so that was my turn draco what are you up to buddy you're trying to do this so he would need some blue so he's going to take a blue as a support and that's the water he needs and then as his second action he's going to do his second support action and roll another blue and that's the energy he needs so he has everything he needs now and wow well, that's scary for me i don't know about this obviously but he can destroy a green die for me there so my turn and now I know what to do with my main action. So, and then I will do production. So one of these, I could turn one of these into something that fits better for whatever it is I want to do next. But I think I am instead gonna draw a card. I'm gonna give up this animal to draw a card. And I found gene repair, which is production of yellow. It's not bad, it's not. Well, it's kind of expensive because we need the nuclear. As my main action, I'll spend three heat here to raise temperature, which will get me a bonus heat die back. So I have three for the production. That's what I'm planning. And I'll get two points. So I'm up to eight. And we're getting close to halfway here. And yeah, we'll see how long the game lasts. Now it is Draco's turn. So he knows what to play on his main action. So I guess... I guess he will just take a die that he might need later on. 
which I think could be a blue. So he's going to take a blue, roll it, and that's some oxygen, all right? His main action, though, it is time for the giant ice asteroid. One of my favorite cards from Terraforming Mars. It has saved me so many times in the solo game, especially. So he's playing this one, and he will get... I'm just going to take this right away. He's going to get water and a heat back from that. Then he will also, of course, raise temperature which will get him two points, so he's up to 22. He will put out an ocean. And I think he is going to put it right here because he needs cards, he doesn't have any cards. So he draws a card and that's peroxide power, so that's production of blue. And then sadly, well, he did that, so he gets two points for the ocean as well. And then sadly, he's going to destroy my green. <laughs> so there we go. That was Draco's turn. My turn, I do need to do production now. And I still haven't used this, but yeah. So first of all, I refresh I refresh my medical lab. Then I'm going to draw a card. And that is AI Central, a good card. Uh, letting you draw a card as a free action. Then let's get the dice. So I don't need to discard down. I will get three green, one blue, one yellow, three of my choice. Kind of want to do AI Central, I think. I also want to do this mining expedition to raise oxygen because that gets me points. I want to get up there and gray dice would be nice as well. So then I would take two gray and a red. There we go. That's my total die pool. And let's see what I have here. I don't really have what I needed for that, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. That was my production turn. Time for Draco, and he only has one card in hand. I don't think he's, he's that excited about production this late, though. So maybe instead he will do like trying to do towing a comet. He has two other things he needs for that. And then he would need to, yeah, I think Draco is going to do production as well. So he's going to refresh this. He's, he's going to draw a card. You got Martian Sioux, which is again production again, but this is fairly easy to build. And then he needs to discard down to three. And for the towing a combat, I think he'll just get rid of this red here. And then dice wise, he's getting four green, one red, one yellow, two of his choice. And he needs gray. Yeah, he doesn't have any production of gray. Uh, basically, both of us are in the situation where we don't really have much gray access. So. There we go, that's all the Draco's dice, and that was his production turn. So back to me, and I am going to do this mining expedition if I can. What would I need? Well, I, I just need one event, so what I'll do is I'll give up one of these microbes as my support action. Wait, actually, now it's time. Yeah, it's time. I'm going to give up my mega credits to use my commercial district, so I can flip three dice to exactly what I want. That's not bad at all. So first of all, one of these, that's number one. This will go there. Number two. Number two will be this one into a plant. Because then I can do the advanced ecosystems next. And number three. I think probably would be this into a nuclear. Because it's hard to get. So I want to get those when I can. So that was my three. From the support action because I paid a mega credit. Now I will play mining expedition. So I'm paying these. And that will raise the oxygen. So I get two points. And I get two gray dice to roll right away. A steel and a city. Oh, so I have two. I can build a city soon almost. Right. So that was my actions and Draco's turn. And he is looking for. I mean, he could also get into towing a comet, really. That's a lot of green, though. I think he will do the advanced ecosystem. So he has an animal, he has a microbe, he has a plant. Okay, so what is his support actions then? He's sort of in the same situation as me. Okay, he's going to give up this plant to turn this into a city so he can build a city as well. That's his support action. His main action is paying these before I could to get this one. It's two points. 
and it gets you a card, so it's not bad at all. So the card Draco got was Iron Works, which is nice. Spending an energy to raise oxygen. Oh, well, oxygen is almost done, though. He might just give up that card to get a die, I guess. So, yeah, the, well, that was his main action. Let's refill with Food Factory, another one, to generate yellow dies. And back to my turn. And Draco just took what I wanted. Um, so, my support action here will be to get whatever I want. I will use this. Get a resource of my choice. And I will take a city. So then I, my main action will be to place a city. I'll play, pay those three city dice. And I see a good spot here. So it's two points plus one for each greenery. So this will be a four point placement right there. So that's not bad. Because that gets me up to um, 14. Which means I get this one. And this gets me two dice of my choice. So then I'm thinking, should I do Food Factory? Yeah, I could do Food Factory. I mean, you paying, paying plants and steel is good because that helps me with the awards as well. That could help me in the end game. So two dice of my choice. I'm taking a, a plant. And then the second one here will probably be... Uh, it's going to be a science, all right? So then I have what I need for my gene repair as well over here. Um, I'm sorry, it's getting hard for you to see here because there's so much stuff out, but there we go. That's what I'm planning for. All right, so Draco's turn. What are you doing, Draco? He could place a city. Yeah, I think that could be a thing, but I took the best spot, but there's still some good spots out here, I guess. I mean, that's, no, he can't place it because that's next to another city. And that's water. Yeah, so I might have taken that away from him. So instead, he might go for towing a comet. So yeah, he'll take a red die as a support. And he got heat. He'll take another one from his free action here. He gets another support action. That's another one. Okay, so then he's going to raise temperature instead. He's going to pay three. Raise that. Get some two more points. My turn. I know what to do on my main. I think I'll just give up a die. To draw a card, I need to find something else. That's artificial lake. That would be pretty good. Place on an area not reserved for ocean. So that would be good. That would give me points. I don't really have what I need for it. Main action though, I am playing this gene repair. This is another production card. This does have a point on it as well, which is good. Right, Draco. He is going to build a city, I think. So he's, and then he's going to do production. So his support action will just be... He's going to give up his iron works because it's too late on to do the option there. And he gets whatever he wants. Which could be... Uh, he's going to take a nuclear one. Alright. Then he's building a city with those three. It's not as good as mine. But he is going to place it here where there's a point to grab as well. So he's getting one point from the actual map and then two for the city and the one for, for the greener next to so that's four so he's going up to 30 points not bad Draco my turn I want to play food factory out there or even more production so my support action yeah I'm gonna give up this mine and take a die of my choosing and I do would like to get AI central in if possible but that's, yeah, that's far away. But if I, I'm not doing that many blue, yeah, I'm going to take a steel. Because I have I have such a bad production of gray dice. All right, my main action will be to pay these. To build food factory. Another production there. If I just slide this in here. And then I will refill with industrial microbes. So this is a free action to get a uh, die of control. That's really good. All right, Draco's turn. He is going to produce, I think. So he's, he's going to lose one. I don't think he cares that much about. He's not generating any blue. I don't. He's going to get rid of this mega credit. And then, yeah, well, this is going to happen first. It's going to do that. He's going to draw a card, sorry. 
So aquifer pumping put out oceans with steel. Uh, there's yeah, there's uh, four more oceans. There's seven in this. All right. Then production wise, so one, two, four green, one yellow, one red, two of his choice. I think he wants to do towing a comet. That's that's a lot of points in that one. He already has two of the things he needs. This is maybe helps him out, but two of his choice. He's just gonna go for two gray. Again, not we're not producing that much gray in this game. And he got exactly what he needed. He got two titanium. So he just needs to turn one of his red in order to make it happen. Okay, that was his production. All right, and I need to do production as well. So first of all, these will be refreshed. I'll draw a card and that's regulate eaters. Another way to raise oxygen. Then I have one, two, three green, one, two, three yellow, a blue and three of my choice. And I need, I think I have pretty much everything I need for regulate eaters. I mean, artificial lake would need more blue. So I think I'll take two blue and another green. That's my three of my choice. And let's see what I have here. We'll figure that out on my next turn because that was my production turn. Draco's turn. He is going to do his support action of giving up. I don't think he needs all these green. He's going to give up a microbe and turn this into an event resource doing towing a comet. All of these. And that's going to give him a bunch of points because, first of all, he gets to raise oxygen. That's two points. So he's up to 32. And then he gets to place an ocean, which is going to be two more points. So he's up to 34. And he's going to place the ocean on this spot. To get whatever he wants. What does he need? Well, we should refill as well. And import of advanced GHG as a production card, but I think this Martian Sioux might be a thing for him. He's pretty easy for him, yeah. So he's just gonna take an animal. So he might get uh, to play that. Well, actually he could also, yeah, because he can do support. Yeah, yeah he can do this next turn. So my turn, let's see what I have here now. I need to sort this out. It's uh, basically you could do that on the other player's turn, of course, if you're playing multiplayer, but I need to help Draco out a little bit with handling stuff. It's hard with those dragon paws, you know. So I'm not close to AI Central. I am close to Regulate Eaters though. So my support action will be to give up one of these energy to turn this into a science and then I can spend two microbes and a science to play this which will be the last oxygen step so I took that and I get a oxygen die back as well and now a difference here from terraforming Mars is that I could still do an action to raise oxygen and I would get one point instead of two so it's still a, you know still meaning to do that even if it's maxed out but one of the three things are maxed out so now we're looking to place the last three oceans or push the temperature up to end the game and i think draco is in the lead to be honest so yeah we'll see draco's turn he knows what to do right yeah he is going to spend his support action giving up a plant turning this into an earth so resource he's going to spend an earth and an animal to build martian sioux and that's going to be another production card for him so there we go my turn i want to do artificial lake and I have everything I need for it. So what is my support action gonna be then? I could do I could do this and just flip three dice to whatever I wanted by spending my mega credit. But I'm not really sure what that would well maybe I could okay, let's do that. That's interesting. I'm gonna spend a mega credit to use this, flipping it, and I will flip all my three blue dice into water. Because I need to chase Draco on the terraforming to get points. Then my main action will be the artificial lake. So that will be a lake on an area not reserved for ocean. 
So what am I mostly need of? I need Karch, really. So I'll place it over here. It's not reserved for Ocean. And I do get two points. I'm placing an Ocean and I draw two Karch. So I got these here. So biomass, free actions that spend any green die to get two heat. That could be good. And this is to place an ocean, no, a city. No, 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 this is for every city in place. You get to flip, yeah, yeah. That is nice, okay. So I have, I have three action cards now in my hand. It seems the shuffle was a bit unlucky here. So, let's see, that was my placement. It is Draco's turn. He only has three dice. Is he doing production again? It's fairly quick in that case. I think he will. I mean, he could do this first. This is a free action. He can do it anytime he wants. He's doing that to perform a support action. Because that would let him flip. Like, that free action would be nice for him. So he could give up this to... No, he's going to get a bunch of green when he's doing his production. So instead, I think he's going to give up this card. Because there's not that many oceans left. He's going to give up this to take whatever he wants. And he could go for a... He doesn't do that much gray, so he could go for a steel. Which is a fairly common resource, but you know, just as the way it turned out, none of us are producing that much gray dice. So then all of a sudden it makes it more interesting to grab them. And then he's doing his production turn. Refreshing. He can't do this because it's free actions. So he can do that before. And then... He got small animals, which is uh, basically like he's getting an animal die. He's getting rid of one of my animals or my green dice. And then all of his dice again. So yellow, yellow, red, four green, two of his choice. So if he's looking to do that, he probably needs two more gray or a gray and a blue, actually. There we go. And here is all his so much stuff to keep track of as the game goes on. Uh, there's a lot of dice, <laughs> which is fun. I like that. So my turn. My turn. Support action. I think I'll just do this to get something that I want. Which I think will be a titanium. So I'm building up for the import of advanced GHG here next. Then as my main action, I'm putting out an ocean with those. And that's the second to last ocean. The last ocean is over here. Uh, I'll, I'll just put out this so you can see there's one left. And there's not that many spaces left. I'll just grab blue. Why not? There you go. Again, you know, prototype and all that. So, all right. That was my action. Let's head over to Draco. With all of his dice, he has so many dice. He could start. He could put almost put out. Uh, he could put out a forest if he wanted to. But now it's only worth one point. Well, plus if you put it next to a city, of course. So maybe instead he wants to. Maybe he wants to do that last ocean actually. Because I started the game, he would end the game just like that before I get to do anything else. But he has so many dice, he doesn't really want to end the game, right? And he can't really put up that ocean. He doesn't really have the things for it. So he's going to look for buying some card that would give him something good. So, I mean, Industrial Micro, it's not, there's not any end game points in that. But it, it does have two of the awards. So, yeah, I think he's going to go for that anyway. So he needs two microbes. He just needs an energy, really. Instead of gambling, he'll just use his main action to get rid of one of his many, many plants to turn this into an energy. And his main action will be to buy this Industrial Microbes card. And that is going to give him a free action to get whatever he wants as well. So that's not bad either. I mean, free actions are awesome. You can do them all if you want to. And we are going to refill with Predators. So this is a way to just, you know, get three points, but also eat up one of your opponent's green dice. So my turn, and I am pretty low here on dice, and I am looking for. I need to turn. I need to 
do some terraforming would be best, but I need to do production, I think, because I'm really running out of things to do. So yeah, I'll do production. So these will be refreshed. Uh, we get a card, which is Lake Mariners. That's not good anymore. We don't have those two. We only have one ocean left. And then I need to just go down to three. I'm going to discard this plant. Then I will get one, two, three green. One blue, three yellow. And three of my choice. And I need red. I'm just going to go for red. So I got a lot of, okay, so I have what I need for import of advanced GHG. It is a, I don't know if it's that smart to build it though. It doesn't give any points right now. Oh well, Draco's turn. So on his, his, his support action, he's going to give up this plan to turn this into a microbe. You get a lot of power to do whatever you want when you start building up these cards, right? So then he will do this free action to get whatever he wants. And he's going to get a oxygen die. And then as his main action, he's going to pay all of these for predators. And it's going to be three points to him. But he's going to destroy one of my green dice. Now, I will say I the rules, of course, are in also prototypes. So I am not 100% sure on how this is going to work in the final game. If I, you know, if I get to pick which of my green dice are gone. Or if Draco gets to pick because he's the one playing it. That's a big difference, but I don't know how that's supposed to be played. So just now I'll just basically just take, I'll just decide that I do it. I'll get rid of one of my microbes. Doesn't matter that much just in this case, but I'm, I'm just saying it. So, okay. Three points for Draco there. And that was his main turn. Back to me. And I know what to do, right? We should refill though. So that's Convoy from Europa. That's a way to put up an ocean. And I can do it. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do that. Instead of this, because this doesn't give me any points. So, um, first of all, support action. I have what I need for that. So, support action here. Might actually go for... Oh yeah, I'm going to pay one mega credit to use this to turn three. I'm going to turn these three into mega credits, because I can spend three to get two points. But here in the end game, I'm just looking for points. Then my main action will be to buy the convoy from Europa and that will let give me one point but it also lets me put out an ocean which is the last one here and I will put it doesn't really matter I'll put it here I get a blue die that's a lot of water all right and since I was the one to end the game by finishing the second parameter here I will get one more turn and Draco will get one more turn. I will play just one more turn before the game ends. So I will have time to use these. That's what I'm planning. Draco, though, he is on his last turn all of a sudden. He didn't, yeah. Can he do anything useful with this turn? Can he? I mean, he has two. He could maybe do something with that. Could he perhaps raise temperature? Or is there a card he could buy? We should refill, by the way. That's Business Empire, it's a point, but it's mainly a uh, production card. Now all the production cards are out, they came in the wrong order in the deck really. We had all the event cards first, which is weird. And he can't build any of these. That is, I don't think that's possible. But I wouldn't really give him any points anyway. But I think he needs to gamble, it's his last turn, he needs to gamble on... No, there's no way for him to turn all of these into... The right symbols. So the only thing he can do is to build a card which wouldn't really hmm. the only thing he can do is gamble. He's gonna do support actions roll the blue and he didn't get what he needed. Then he could have done this for free to roll the green and if he would have gotten the two rare ones the animal and the oxygen he could have built small animals but right now he can't really do anything useful with his main action here, sadly. I mean, he could have, he could have built this for sure, but, well, it would have helped him with the symbols, I guess. Yeah, maybe that would have been smarter, but Draco can't really do anything meaningful with his main action. So it's back to me, and well, I have a support action. It, it doesn't really matter. I don't really need to do anything with that. I will do my main action, which is pay these three mega credits to get two points. And I hope, did I take the two points from placing the last ocean? 
I think I forgot that, yeah. So I should be at 22. All right, so this is the end of the game. Cards that we have left over, doesn't matter. Uh, we can just get rid of those. Then we, uh, dice, the same goes for dice that we have left over. Doesn't really matter either. So we can just remove these, make more space here. Then we are going to start looking at the award. So first of all, who has built most with steel involved? So let's just see here. I have one, two, three, four. All right, that was not that great. I have four. And Draco has one, two. Oh, he only has two. Okay. I expect to name that more. Okay. No, three. He, he does have this industrial microbes as well. So he has three. I have four. So I get six points. So I go up to 28. Draco gets three points. So he goes to 37. Then we look at the energy. So I have energy, 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 one, two, three, Draco has one, two, three. Okay, so we both have three, which means we both get six points. And if we were three players and we would do, get a tie, then it would be not, or like if, if there were a third player that had fewer, they would not get the second place. It's the same as in Terraform Mars. And then we have plants. And let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I think Draco has a bunch as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, Draco, you're the winner there. So Draco goes up to 49, and I go to 37. Yeah, it looks it does look good for me. Then we just assemble our cards, and now we're going to look for points on the cards. Um, I have one, two six nine ten eleven okay so i'm up to 48 so i'm not even catching up to draco even with my cards and then we're gonna have to count draco's points as well so you did good draco here i'm not really sure why i am so far behind draco has one four six eight minus one so he's down to seven eight okay so draco is at 57 so draco wins on 57 to 48 good job draco you won terraform mars the dice game hope you enjoyed watching this playthrough uh we had fun playing it and i really enjoy it i would just say a few words it is a prototype of course it's you know it's not coming out tomorrow but so far i really like it i really like it i think maybe one thing i feel sometimes that i miss in the game so to speak is if I see I'm sitting around with a bunch of dice like this and they don't fit anything I have or anything I want to do it would be nice if I could like a free action just give up two or three I don't know uh, dice and just get whatever I wanted as a free action so I could like get you know trade these back and forth in order to get what I need and uh, I think that would have been nice otherwise I think everything is nice here I have played prototypes of this before and then the game was totally different so in that regards, I think this version is way better. I, I enjoy this a lot more than I did back when I, I tried the first prototypes. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, press the like button down there. Subscribe to the channel as well. And also, I will say that there is a solo play playthrough coming soon as well. In just a few days, there will be a solo playthrough of this on the channel as well, where I will play it and show you how a solo playthrough works. Because, as you know, that is my favorite way to play Terraforming Mars. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas.